Hey everybody! Well today I thought we could take a look at this cool clock. It's a kitty wall clock, a little kitty, and it's made of wood and you put the whole thing together. It's by a company called Jig Toy. Now it only has 40 pieces in it and it says it only takes 40 to 60 minutes to put together. But for me it'll probably take at least a couple hours because <laughs> I'm always a slow builder. But I thought it was really cool. It kind of harkens back to those old style cat clocks where the eyes would move back and forth and the, uh, the tail would move you know, as a pendulum on here. Now the eyes are not going to move on this since it's a wood model, but the tail will uh, swing back and forth as a pendulum and the clock mechanism is an actual working um, clock and mechanism. So that's what the back of it looks like. I found this on Amazon and it was only $40 and I thought it'd be kind of fun to put together and at least you get a cool little clock out of it. Okay, so we get six sheets of wood parts right here. There is the face, looks very cool. Kind of looks like Garfield a little bit. <laughs> there is the face of the clock. I love the uh, laser etching that is done on these kits. And the parts always pop out really nice. There's another part of his face. This looks like part of the body. And then over here a little bit more. I've got some nice designs going on right there. And then here is the face of the clock. And his tail. Or Actually looks like he's got two different tails there. Not sure what that's for. And then here we have in this package, these are all the little hands. So you got the hour hand, minute hand, and the second hand. They're very fragile and thin. So you've got to be very careful with these. A little bit of hardware that goes with those. And then we also have the clock mechanism itself. Right here, it's all built, so you don't have to mess with it. Looks like it runs on a AA battery right there. There's the pendulum. I like how it locks in place right here to keep it from uh, moving around during shipment. So that's very cool. We also have these. I'm not sure what these are. These little white dots. I'm not sure what those are going to be used for. And then they give you, of course, a little sheet of sandpaper to uh, sand down the burrs. And I also had a loose piece right here. See that right there? I don't know what this is, but it, I hope it's not a piece that was important and broke off. But it was sitting in the box, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. And then here's the instructions. Let's take a look at these real quick. There's not much to them, so at least it's kind of an easy thing to put together. You can kind of see just an overall overview of the parts. And then here you can see how it all kind of goes together. I don't think you have to glue this, but you can glue it if you want to. Most of these kits go together very nicely. And then here's the other side where you start putting the main body together. His face. That's really neat. Looks like it'll go together pretty decent. Uh, I think this has got a little weight on it right there to make that tail swing back and forth. I'm glad the tail actually uh, is a pendulum. Sometimes they're, they're just there for, uh, you know, they don't actually swing, but this one looks like it actually does. And then here we got, uh, oh, okay, so that's why there's two tails. There's two different versions of this that you can make. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so yeah, right here it says desk clock. So if you want him sitting on your desk rather than hanging on the wall, you put this tail on which probably helps hold them up. So that's really neat. They give you two different options. Or you can hang them on the wall. So that's really cool. I like when they do stuff like that. All right, well, I can't wait to get started on this. All right, so just a progress report here. This is going together very nicely. Most of the pieces are pretty large. You can see how it's layered up here. So um, this piece here is the only hardware so far. There's a washer and a, a nut right there to hold in the uh, mechanics of the clock. And I hope that this pendulum actually swings because um, it doesn't really look like there's any kind of a mechanism up there that makes it move. I hope it does. I hate for it to be one of those clocks where you can spin it by hand or swing it by hand, but it doesn't actually move. I'm guessing it does since there's a weight right there. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. Um, when you have these pieces, you do have to pop out these middle sections. They look like they're part of, oh, well, look at that. That's actually, <laughs> it doesn't have a battery in it yet, but that's very free, uh, free moving. But um, anyway, yeah, so you do have to pop these little designs out. They look like they're part of the design of the wood, but they're not. You do have to pop those out. And uh, the same thing with these inner pieces right in, in this layer here. There's like three layers going on. But this is really cool. All right, so now I think I should be getting done here pretty soon. Okay, so when it comes time to put these hands on, you got to be very careful. So if you notice, there's a little bit of a ring underneath. Let me see if I can show you. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. 
So you got to make sure, so the black side goes up because it's silver on the other side, but there's a little bit of a ring that hangs down. See it hanging down underneath both of the hands right there? So when you put these on, you got to use, I would say use your thumbnails to kind of push one thumb on this side and one on this side here and put even pressure to put those on there because they're they're very fragile you don't want to bend those and if they're already bent um, from being in the package just bend them so that they're straight again because you want them to be as straight as you can get them because you can see here see how the hour hand is just barely off of the the bottom and see how that one's actually a little bent right there so you can actually bend this down a little bit because you got to put the second hand on and the second hand is right here and you'll notice how this one has a little bit of a, a I don't know, like a post that sticks out. That hole, there's a little post on the inside. See that? So that's got to go on there. It's got to be very careful to get this on. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. But it's going to go on here like this. Well, I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not. But that's how it's going to go on. So, uh, you know, each hand has got to go on individually, of course. So you start with the hour hand, the minute hand, and then the second hand. Okay, well here it is all finished and oh man, what a cool little clock. I'm really glad to see that his tail does in fact rock back and forth like that. I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case, but here we can see how he looks. Look at that face. It's really cool. I love the eyes. The way they did the eyes looks really good. These, uh, This piece up here and the piece like his little eyebrow area and his little nose those go in using those little double stick tape pieces. That's what those little dots were. And I will say that one side of the tape came off fine, but the other one didn't. Um, so I ended up having to Elmer's glue those on. I left the, I went ahead and left the little uh, dot on there because it adds a little depth to it, as you can see off the side here. But yeah, the tape wasn't all that great. I love the layering of his ears and his head. It looks very, very cool. Here's the whole clock face. Look how the uh, second hand is a smooth, smooth one. Usually, you know, you see them, you know, click every second, but this one is just a smooth movement right there. And it's so far, it's very accurate. I've had it running now for several minutes, and it seems to be working just fine. So it runs on one AA battery. There's this cute little tail. That's really neat. It's very cool the way that that works. So it's very easy to put together. Um, only took me about an hour, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, it goes together surprisingly well. These wood kits are getting better and better, I gotta say. And I love unique stuff like this. And when they have something working on it like that, that's really great. I mean, look at that. I really couldn't figure out a good place to put it, so I ended up putting it way back, kind of on this, next to my closet over here. It's about the only place that I don't have a clock. I have way too many clocks in this house. <laughs> but uh, this one's really neat. I really like this a lot. Now, on the bottom here, there's a little piece right there. You can see it's got a slot in it. That is for the other tail. If you want to use this piece, that slot goes into that one, and that's to turn this into more of a desk clock. And the feet are wide enough to hold him up, but I would think that he would have more of a tendency to fall forward because the tail is going to support him on the back, but there's nothing really to support him in the front. But I don't know. I think this having that cool little feature with his tail, I would say it's better to use him as a wall clock because half the fun is having his tail swinging around like that, which I think is very cool. So if you wanted to paint this, you most certainly could do that. There's all kinds of details on here. It's almost kind of crying out for a paint job. Um, just as long as you don't paint anything that's going to mess up the mechanism right here. But um, I'm just going to leave it for now. I don't know if I'll paint it or not, but I think it's very, very cool. This is really a great little clock. So I found this on Amazon. It was about $40. It's from a company called Jig Toy. And um, I just think it was a really fun kit to put together. I think a lot of people would enjoy something like this. At least you get a cool clock out of it. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I very much appreciate it. And until the next video, I will see you then. So thank you so much for watching and have a good one.